the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you the results from my Crypto Hopper Arbitrage Crypto Trading Bot that I deployed one week ago today. Now, if you missed the video where I set up and deployed the Crypto Hopper Arbitrage Bot, you need to subscribe. First off, shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. And you may want to go back and watch that video first, so I will put a link down below in the description so you can check out the video where I configure and deploy the bot. Now, before we get started, if you're not familiar with Crypto Hopper, they are one of the elite crypto trading bot platforms out there, in my opinion. I've been using them since 2017. I've been on conference calls with the team, and they are legit. And with that being said, in order to deploy the arbitrage bots, you will need at a minimum their adventure subscription, and that will open up the exchange arbitrage side of the bot. But in order to take advantage of both the exchange and the market arbitrage bot, you'll need the hero subscription, and that will cost you $99 a month. I'll put a link down below for Crypto Hopper, and you can get started with a free trial using the link in the description down below. Now, with that all being said, let's get to the results. And from the stat page, you can see I started the bot November 28th. Today is December 5th, so it's been running for one week. And it has generated profit of 0.0056 Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is currently trading at 19,463. I did some quick math based at 19,000. This would be $106 profit. So in essence, it would pay for one month's worth of the subscription on the hero level with that being considered. Another thing you must consider though with this bot, if you're looking for constant action, you're not going to get it unless you select a lot more coins than I did. I selected coins I'm familiar with and I know how they trade. And you can see I really had a spike around December 1st of where the majority of the profits came from. And that would correspond to this volatility we saw in the market right here. This big sell-off and a big V-shaped recovery. That is where the majority of the arbitrage opportunities sprung up and the bot took advantage of. The reality is an arbitrage bot is looking for volatility in the market, which creates differences in pricing on different exchanges and with the market arbitrage bot, there's actually opportunities on the same exchange. Now, if we jump back over to the stat page, the average completion time was one minute, which is fairly quick. Uh, total average profits is two and a half percent. And then the best exchange for arbitrage turned out to be KuCoin with a four percent profit. Now, if we jump to the dashboard, we can go into more detail on what trades actually occurred and where the profits came from. And if we look at my latest exchange arbitrages, the last three did not actually execute. They were not able to complete the actual arbitrage exchange. But if we do look at the first one that was completed, it's between KuCoin and HitBTC, which ended up a 5.29% profit. Click on the info button. And you can see it was trading ETH. And so the first leg of the arbitrage was to take USD that I held on KuCoin and buy ETH at $576. And it was able to buy 0.1742 ETH at a total cost of $100.33. Now on HitBTC, I had to hold ETH there as well. And so it ended up selling some of the ETH that I held on HitBTC at a price of $606.46. It sold the same amount as it bought on KuCoin so that I end up with the same amount of ETH just on different exchanges. And it sold that ETH for $105.64. So you can see there was a $5 essentially gain in USDT on HitBTC. So the object of the exchange arbitrage is to increase your quote or as Crypto Hopper calls it, your base, you're looking to increase your overall quote currency. And that is precisely what happened. I ended up with the same amount of ETH I had on HitBTC is now actually over on KuCoin. And the USDT that I spent to get that on KuCoin 
increased over on hit BTC. And so the end result was a profit of 5.29% because of the increase in my quote currency. Now we'll take a look at another example here on hit BTC and Bittrex. And so in this situation, the quote currency is going to be ETH or the base currency. And we're looking to perform arbitrage on Aave. And in this case on hit BTC, we end up buying Aave with ETH. And so we end up with 1.459 Aave at a cost of 0.1838 and change ETH. Now on Bittrex, we need to sell our Aave that we hold on Bittrex. So I end up with the same amount of Aave. And so it ends up selling that same amount of Aave, the 1.459 Aave, at a higher price. If you look, it ends up selling at 0.1284 versus the 1259, which ends up with a result of an increase in ETH, which was our goal on this arbitrage was to increase the amount of ETH we have and a profit of 1.97%. And so that would be a couple of examples of the exchange arbitrage. Now let's look at the market arbitrage. And you'll notice that the majority of these arbitrage events happened on December 1st, and that correlates again with this activity on December 1st, this volatility that you see of the run up, big sell off, and another big recovery. And that volatility is essential to an arbitrage bot to be able to take advantages of differences on exchanges or in some cases opportunities on the same exchange just between different tokens. And so the first one we'll take a look at will be on hit BTC for a 3.17% profit. And what it ended up doing, it's three different trades. And so the Crypto Hopper market arbitrage is what I'm more familiar as a triangle arbitrage. It's going to kind of act in a triangle. And so what it ends up doing is it sells ETH into USDT. And so the object in the end result will be to get this ETH back. And so what it ends up doing is taking that USDT that it gained from selling the ETH and buying EOS with that USDT. And then the third trade, it takes the EOS and then converts that back into ETH. And the end result is a 3.17% profit because in the end, I end up with more ETH than I started out with. And so let's take a look at another example. Uh, we'll go to this 5.63% on KuCoin. And so this opportunity, the bot buys ETH with USDT. And again, in the end, the goal will be to get the USDT back at a higher number. And so what it does is it buys ETH with USDT. The next trade, it sells that ETH into Bitcoin, BTC. And you can see it sells the same amount of ETH that it bought with the USDT. And then in the last transaction, it sells that BTC back into USDT for $105.00. And we had started out with only $99. And so the end result is that 5.63% profit. And I hope besides just showing you how the bot profited, I hope you kind of understand both of these processes. If you don't, leave comments down below and perhaps I'll consider making a video that's strictly dedicated to explaining how these two different types of arbitrage actually work. As it's not the traditional arbitrage that you think of, of sending one coin to another exchange and selling it for more on that exchange. Neither one of these work that way, uh, yet they both do produce profit. And so with that all being said, if you're an action junkie and you're looking for this bot to trade constantly, that's not going to happen from the way I at least configured it. And if again, you didn't see that video, the link's down below. But the way I configured it, I picked coins I knew would have an opportunity to perform given the way these arbitrage bots actually function. And before I go, we can scroll down. The bots are looking for targets and there's really no profit given the current targets. And there it's just refreshing. And we'll see if it sees any targets. I highly doubt it because the market is pretty flat at the moment. And again, very, no real possibilities 
for any meaningful profit. So with that all being said, I just wanted to do a quick update video and I think we're well past that point. But do me a favor, if you like the video, spike a like. If you wanna see more videos like this and not miss future videos, I do suggest you shoot that subscribe button. Also, if you have questions or comments about the arbitrage bots, feel free to leave those comments down in the comment section below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.